Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to build a simple sled kite out of commonly available materials. I've noticed that you guys have watched uh, the box kite video an awful lot, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to make a simple sled kite, which is even easier than a box kite. Let's get started. The basic unit for our sled kite is a square. We're going to lay these out in such a way that our kite is four squares wide and three squares tall or three squares from front to back. Now it doesn't matter what size squares you make, it's just the proportion that matters that it's four by three, give or take a little bit. My trash bags here happen to be eight inches uh, to each crease, so my squares will be eight by eight. Now I'm marking down the side every eight inches, and I'll mark three marks, so it'll be 24 inches. Now this is mostly determined by the length of my dowel rods that I'm gonna use to hold it, which are 24 inches long. And then I'm going to go ahead and quickly mark the other side so that then I can draw lines across to make my squares. Here I'm marking the base of the kite, which would be the back edge. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw the long diagonal that you saw in the earlier diagram. Okay. And now I'll draw the front diagonal. And what we end up with is an irregular hexagon. And now I'm marking the third section here in the back. I want to mark the center because in this area right here is where my vents will go later if I end up needing them. So I'm going to go ahead and draw an X right here in the middle of this back section that marks the spot. Like so. And you cut along your lines and you see this is what you end up with. Now do yourself a favor when you cut this and do like I did and fold everything in half so that you only have to cut once and that way you guarantee that the whole kite is symmetrical. And then we'll unfold it and you can see we have our irregular hexagon that looks like the diagram you saw earlier. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark my dowel rod at 24 inches. And then I'm going to give it a quick roll underneath the razor blade to score it and then I can really easily snap it off. Now these get placed just like so, down the creases of our trash bag. And then I'm going to use a little bit of tape in each corner and then in the middle, just for good measure, on the inside of the kite to hold everything in place. This is what's going to give our kite shape from front to back. And then I'm going to use little pieces of duct tape to reinforce the corners here where the bridle is going to attach. Because without these, the string would just pull right on through the trash bag and then I'll fold them over, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach the strings next. You can see how simple this really is. And right now I'm just taping the strings on with more duct tape. Uh, I didn't feel the need to punch a hole for this kite because it's really small, it won't pull very hard. But you can see that goes like that. And now here, I couldn't find my compass, so I'm just using a cup and pressing the rim down to make a pattern to cut my vent holes. Turns out I needed these because it was a little bit gusty. And there you can see the vent hole in the back through both layers. All right, that's it. Let's go fly a kite. As you can see, the simple kite flies really well. It's a little bit gusty out here, and so the vent holes could be a little bit larger probably, and that would help it stabilize a little bit. I hope this helps inspire you to go build your own kite. I'm Mike Thompson. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.